All right, what else, Paul? You know, uh, brand uh, analysis, Brandon Biden tells us why who really won this train wreck of a speech in Georgia. Do we have any of his speech today? Yeah, we have a bunch of it. Because we have as a ex- bunch of it. It, it, it. I mean, as expected, pres- this is from Red State. As expected, President Biden and Vice President Harris visited Georgia uh, earlier today where sometimes confused Biden gave scripted angry speech in which he did complete a hun- uh, 180 on his previous remarks from decades as Senator, uh, about preserving the filibuster, endorsing, uh, making whatever changes necessary to the Senate rules in order to, as he said it, prevent a minority of senators from blocking action on voting rights. I mean, this is... Well, we're gonna, we didn't get too much into this tonight because we just were jam-packed, but here's cut one, G. Let's just hear a little bit of this repulsive speech today. Go ahead. So I ask every elected official in America, how do you want to be remembered? At consequential moments in history, they present a choice. Do you want to be the side, the side of Dr. King or George Wallace? Do you want to be the side of John Lewis or Bull Connor? Do you want to be the side of Abraham Lincoln or Jefferson Davis? This is the moment to decide to defend our elections, the to defend our democracy. <laughs> The nerve. And if you do that, you will not be alone. It's dirty racist. That's has because some nerve. the struggle to protect voting rights has never been borne by one group alone. We saw freedom riders of every race, leaders of every faith marching arm in arm. And yes, Democrats and Republicans in Congress of the United that's States. That's enough, Jim. That's a tool bag. And in I mean, the presidency. I did not live the struggles of Douglas. Tubman, King, Lewis, Goodman, Cheney, Swerner, countless others, known and unknown. I did not walk in the shoes of generations of students who walked these grounds, but I walked other grounds because I'm so damn old I was there as well. Isn't that a lie? Hey, you think I'm kidding, man. Seems like yesterday, the first time I got arrested. Anyway. So he caught himself. He can't help <laughs> himself a lie because he's a liar. A per, <laughs> uh, you know, he's a plagiar. He's a racist. He's a segregationist. And he praised George Wallace. So here he is talking about Dr. Martin Luther King or George Wallace. He praised Wallace. This guy hung out with segregationists. We don't need him to tell us anything about this. It's repu- this speech was repugnant and repulsive. Yeah. Quite frankly, we'll get into more of it tomorrow because we don't have the time to do it now. But it was just absolutely abhorrent, the whole speech. <sighs> a, a yelling old fool is what he is.